What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on all the products that I purchased um, in my previous video which was my Ulta haul. So this is a look that I came up with. I had a lot of fun uh, working with these products and finally playing, being able to play with them um, especially on camera so you guys can see how they worked on my skin. So yeah if you guys want to see how I got this look then just go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna go ahead and start by priming my face and I'm gonna be using the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply that much and put it all over my face. And I'm just gonna let that sink in while I do my eyes. Oh, that feels really good. That feels really refreshing. It's not like a silicone base. Um, oh, but it's tacky. And I applied some tape because um, I'm going to do my eyeshadow and it looks a little funky, but it gives you like a nice crisp line at the end. Um, so that's what I'm going to use today. I probably should have concealed before I did the tape, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to conceal my eyelids with the ColourPop Light 16. And then I'm going to blend it out with a Morphe uh, Light and Contour Sponge. And I'm just going to set my eyelids um, with this Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder that I mentioned last time in my haul. And this is in the color 10, which is Fair Light. Once I have my eyelids set, I'm going to go ahead and go with my eyeshadow. And the one I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do, but I kind of want to use the yellow in this, which is so pretty. It's like a vibrant yellow, like lemonade color. <laughs> So yeah, I guess we'll see what we come up with. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom you in a little bit. So to start off, I'm gonna be using Sweet Tea, which is this transition state over here, and I'm gonna be using my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, um, and this is the E40. And then just apply that in my crease area. That's what it's looking like so far. So once I have that blended out and I have it to the color that I want, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different brush and I'm going to be using the M573. It's just a little bit more tapered, so it's going to give me a little bit more control over where I put this color. Um, and the color that I'm going to grab is the yellow, which is the Lemonade Craze, which is that one right there. There we go. And I'm just going to put that on my brush. And then go right under that sweet tea color that I used. This one's really powdery. I don't know if you can see that. It's really powdery. Yeah, I don't think you can even see that on my eye. I'm gonna switch to a different brush to see if I can. Um, make it work with a different brush, maybe using like a more compact one. Okay, this one's perfect. So I'm gonna use the M513. This one's even more tapered than the one that I just used. Um, so I'm gonna try and build that one color up again. If not, then I might have to switch eye looks. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not doing anything for my eye. That sucks. I really wanted the yellow shade to work. <laughs> okay, change of plans. I'm just gonna use Ice Pop, which is like that fuchsia color. That one right there, that fuchsia color. And I'm gonna be using the same brush and I'm gonna try and build this up um, in the same place I was gonna put Lemonade Craze. Once I have it blended out to the intensity that I want, I'm going to go ahead and grab the next shade and the next brush. And the one that I'm going to be using is the M506. So it's like really tiny. It's going to give me a lot of precision um, in where I want to place this next color. And the one that I'm going to grab is out of the same palette and it's called Old Fashioned. So it's this like darker brown color. I'm gonna apply it like on the outer half of my beat and I'm also going to do it on the inside. So I'm going to be doing a halo eye today. All right, so I'm done with that old-fashioned color. This is kind of what the eyes are looking like. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> um, but yeah. 
that um, old fashioned color, which is the brown, didn't really build up to the color that I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the next step because I don't want to be here for five hours blending up that color. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with the next brush, and this is the Morphe M124. Um, this is just a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna put some concealer um, just on the very, like on the very center of my eyelid. And I'm going to use the same brush, I'm just going to use the back of it. And I'm going to go in with the color Citrus, which is this one right here. It's like a goldy, goldy peachy color. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be using the same brush and just use the back of it. And apply that right on top of the concealer. I'm just going to go with my finger instead and see if I can get a little bit more pigment. The shadows aren't super pigmented. A couple of them are, and you can build them up, but some of them are just duds. Like that yellow one was a complete dud. It just would not come off on my eyes at all. Uh, the pigments are okay, and I am going to be using the LA Girl Eyeliner, the one that I mentioned, mentioned last time in my haul. And this is the Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Eyeliner, and it's just in the color black. So I'm going to go ahead and line the top of my eye. And then the lashes, like I said earlier, I'm going to be using are the Ardell Demi Wispies. And these are the style 113. I'm nervous to try these because I'm not very good at applying eyelashes. So I guess practice makes perfect, right? So while I let these dry, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara and curl my eyelashes um, before I put these eyelashes on. And I'm just going to be using the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. This is the one that I always use, and just my regular eyelash curler. Okay, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna put them on my tweezers, and I'm just gonna apply them in the middle, and then attach the outside. And then I'm gonna press them together. Whoa, those are really wispy. Alert. Okay, honestly, I don't know how I feel about these because they're super, like, long. They're just really long. I don't know if I like these. So I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'll be right back and then I guess we'll see how they look together. Okay, so this is what they look like. Um, they did go on really easily. I'm actually surprised at how easily I was able to apply them But yeah, so I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my face because this video is already like 50 minutes long I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the LA girl shady slim brow pencil and this is in the color espresso This is what it looks like it has a spoolie on this side and then just the product on this side Okay, so this product isn't bad. I really thought I wasn't gonna like it, but it's not horrible. I wish it was a little bit more creamy, um, cause the um, formula of it is a little bit more dry, but it's not horrible, especially cause I only paid like $2.99. Um, and it comes with a spoolie, so it's not bad. So one eyebrow done, and I'm gonna go ahead and do, do the other one. And then we can finally move on to the face. Okay, eyebrows are done, so we're going to go ahead and jump into my foundation. And the one I'm going to be using today is the Mineral Stick Foundation that I mentioned in my haul. So I got the color Soft Beige. No, Medium Beige. I'm just going to start by putting a couple of marks on my face, I guess. And then I'm going to blend it out with that um, contour sponge from Morphe, which is the red one. And I'm going to go in... I know the shade is off, 
a little bit. It's a little, I think it's a little bit too light for me. Okay, so this foundation isn't full coverage. I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. I'm gonna try and see if I can build it up to a full coverage. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on my nose and then a little bit more on my forehead. And over here. And I'm gonna put it on my neck just to balance out the color just so I don't look super crazy. foundation is looking like um, it's definitely not full coverage and it's not like a matte finish it's more of like a satin finish <laughs> finish it's more like a satin finish um, it kind of it looks like my skin so it's actually really pretty I actually really like it but yeah if you're looking for a full coverage foundation this is not the one for you but if you're looking for more of a light coverage and it looks like your skin I would recommend this one um, like again I don't know how it wears so I'm gonna be wearing it throughout the day and I will give you guys a update um, in the description box and I'll let you guys know how it, um, how it wore on my skin. And I do have combo skin, so I do get a little bit oily in my T-zone, but it, it's pretty dry for the most part. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using the same concealer that I use on my eyes. And this is the Light 10 ColourPop Concealer. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes. And I'm gonna take it in the center of my forehead and then on my chin and then a little bit on my nose just to even out the highlight because this color is kind of light. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit crazy because that concealer was a little bit too light for me. But I do like the concealer a lot. It's not really settling into my fine lines and it's, uh, it was really easy to blend out. So I'm just going to go ahead and set all of my face and I'm going to be using that same powder that I used to um, set my eyelids with. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the same sponge. So I love the combo of this ColourPop concealer and that powder. It just makes my under eyes look so natural but like so smooth at the same time. They look really nice. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my bronzer. The one I'm going to be using today is the one from ColourPop and I think this is the one in Private Party. I linked it in my last haul. Um, or I didn't link it, but I left the name of it, but I'm pretty sure this is the private party This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face because I'm looking a little cray cray right now I'm just gonna be using this large um, Like powder brush from ColourPop. It doesn't have a name, but this is what it looks like um, They're super inexpensive super affordable and they're really good quality. So if you're looking for brushes um, I highly recommend these ones from ColourPop So I really like this um, bronzer. If you're on the market for a new bronzer, the ColourPop one is really good and it's really affordable. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush and I'm going to be using the Fit Me blush in the color Rose. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to be using an angled brush from ColourPop again. This is what it looks like. You can see it's angled, really soft, really pretty. Okay, so that blush looks really pretty. It just gave me like a nice wash of color. And it did have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. So it makes me look even more glowy. I'm just gonna blend it out with this like duo, this tiny duo fiber brush from ColourPop again. And I'm just gonna make sure that all of that is blended together nicely. And before I move on to highlight, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into the Lemonade Craze palette and um, I'm gonna use Sweet Tea, which is that transition color that we use. I'm gonna use my Sigma brush again and just sweep that under my lower lash line. I'm not gonna do anything crazy on the lower lash line. I'm just gonna continue to like build up that Sweet Tea color. And then I might go in with a little bit of that um, Ice Pop color.
Then go back in with that Sigma brush and I'm gonna blend it all together. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just gonna put some eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the one from Essence. Um, and this is just a nude, a silky nude color. And I'm just gonna put this right in the waterline. And I'm gonna apply some mascara just to finish off the eyes. And moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Chrome in the color um, Molten Gold. And I'm gonna be using one of my ColourPop brushes. I've used a fan brush in the past, but I feel like the fan brushes just give me like a, like a line of highlighter. Um, so I'm just gonna try this one out and see how I like it. I'm gonna apply it to the very tops of my cheekbones. So the highlight does look really pretty. It's not bringing out any like texture in my skin. Um, it just looks like a really pretty highlight. So I do like it. I think it looks nice. But this brings me to the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching me apply some of these new products and how they worked on my skin. So before you leave, don't forget to um, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment letting me know um, what you guys want to see in my future videos. Bye!